Actually, I got some good news to start the day for a change. Yeah, the Emergencies Act has been revoked, I, I guess. We don't really know a lot about this. It's just really early reporting on this stuff. But apparently, it what it reads right now, as much as you can trust Justin Trudeau, like, let's be fucking fair about this stuff. But as, as of right now, it seems to be alleviated. So we're going to have to see in the next few days and how all of this shit is going to play out. It's like, okay, you might be able to see it. Yeah, you can see it just off to the side there. You got the Freedom Convoy organizer Tamara Lich, who's still being held without bail, so because the Emergencies Act is gone and what she's being held for was only possible thanks to the evocation of the Emergencies Act, is she going to be released? Okay, are all of those bank accounts that have been frozen, are they going to be unfree, unfrozen? Okay, what are you going to be doing about the rest of that financial shit? Which, according to the Terrorist Funding Act and uh, Justin's his second in command there, Christia Free says that uh, the different financial tracking shit that was already going to be permanent so we're gonna have to see in the next few days what exactly happens with all this stuff but like i said here good news to begin with and that's why i wasn't quite so dour um what was that tuesday when we did the refresh after the monday vote it's like it's gonna be goofy but i don't think it's really gonna end up going all that hard but hey here we are i, I guess uh, i was quasi right again thankfully thankfully right on this but oh let's read a little bit of this before we get fucking too much aids in our system uh trudeau announced on wednesday that the government will end its use of the emergencies act we were very clear that the use of the emergencies act would be limited in time no it wasn't the only thing you said you also said it would be targeted to the places that it was uh, needed and then it would also be in use across the entire country and then he said that it would be uh applied in certain scope but then he said that it was needed throughout the entire country at various different levels so so you were a liar on multiple fronts and limited in time only by the fact that maybe the fact that you are revoking this before the time limits up before the senate can pass it was kind of a little bit of a heads up that the senate might have flagged this one down too but these are all the things that are just no longer going to be needed because oh it's no longer an emergency and i don't need to face any more embarrassment on a on a very public stage when we invoked it, it would be in place for up to 30 days. But we said we would lift it as soon as possible. And I guess he probably got the heads up from G, uh, or maybe some of his other uh, tyrannical friends being like, okay, Jesus Christ, Justin, you're kind of making us look bad. Can you go ahead and uh, step back a little bit? I think all the truckers are gone. All the honking is quit. Can you, you know, stop, look liking, uh, stop looking like such a out-and-out -out tyrant? Okay, thanks. We've held updates and briefs with ministers and officials every day who have continu continuously called what you're doing retarded in <laughs> nicer language and today after careful consideration we're ready to confirm that the situation is no longer an emergency the federal government will be ending its use of the emergencies act like okay that's that's pretty vague and that was the statement that he gave so does that mean right now does that mean at the end of the 30-day period i'm taking that to be right now because he can go ahead and revoke it at a moment's notice. So, okay, I guess. I'm still not letting him forgive or letting him off the hook for any of this stuff. But you've seen all the polling and this is how this motherfucker governs anyways by opinion polls. So, he he got the reports back and realizes that uh, he's super underwater. So, maybe he's going to just try to save face. Uh, Trudeau said that while the emergency was over, that the situation would not just go away. Okay, so... If it wasn't going to be going away, but it's no longer an emergency, why did it need to be declared an emergency to begin with? And why did you have to invoke the Emergencies Act? Okay. Hmm. Interesting. It really, get, it really is food for thought on this one. Adding that there is more work to do to defend democracy. Interesting how it's not our democracy anymore. Just again, just these little verbal affectations. And there's nothing that this guy says that isn't 100% pre-planned out. So it, it's very important to note exactly what he says. We're fighting a virus, not each other. Oh, really? Huh. Just, just gaslighting all the time. After two difficult, painful years, you inflicted that. Oh, uh, we have a lot of healing to do. And, of course, now I'm giving you back your freedoms. Sort of. Even after most of the provinces have already just, um, you know, turned on the lights and have kind of, you know, set in motion going back to normal. Like it says here, the premiers of Ontario, uh, fat-ass Doug Ford was a little bit late to the party. 
uh, Quebec, Alberta, and Saskatchewan, and Manitoba as well. But Manitoba still has uh, their restrictions in place. And just today, Nova Scotia is also dropping their vaccine passport for the, I don't know, two Nova Scotians that still have the coof. I don't know, whatever. Well, the Canadian Civil Liberties Association said the government had not met the threshold necessary to invoke the Emergencies Act. Yeah, they did. They got the votes for it. Ergo, they have justification to do it. That's government for you in a nutshell. Some also criticized Trudeau for invoking the act after protests in Ottawa and elsewhere had mostly been cleared. Yep, exactly. Most of them have just kind of petered out. That was the fate of the world. So that that looks like to be the path now. Okay, go out there, uh, protest. But hey, we know at a moment's notice now, Trudeau doesn't have to get justification from the Senate. He doesn't have to get a check on his powers on this one. He knows exactly what he can do to bust up any sort of protest or any sort of movement that he doesn't like. Invoke the Emergencies Act because he set the standard there. And guess what? Nobody voted against it. He got all of the votes they needed along party lines. So whenever something like this pops up again, Emergencies Act at a moment's notice. And then, oh, okay, cool. Once I bust some heads, once I freeze some bank accounts, which I, once I strike fear into just freedom loving citizens' hearts, I can just go ahead and revoke it and say that, oh, we have some healing to do. You caused the fucking pain, cocksucker. But now we're going to see this timeline super expedited once we get to the Freedom Convoy USA. So the People's Convoy, is that what they're calling it? Cool. Because... <laughs> Oh boy, they're going to be met with some people once they arrive in Washington, D.C. This right here, oh my god, it's not going to be allowed to go on for three weeks, okay? We are already are seeing what the fuck Biden is doing in order to just squash us before it even happens. And mark my words, there's probably some truckers in Fairfax just waiting to join up with the People's Convoy. They already have their fucking white pointy hoods on, they've got their mega caps, and they've got their fucking tractor trailer already just filled to the brim with explosives and firearms so just brand new nice shiny ones okay just just saying just giving you a heads up on this one because if you thought the astroturfing with the fucking swastika and the confederate flag and then the couple of guns that they found in couts uh, if you thought that that was a little bit of a false flag effort it's gonna be nothing in comparison to what happens when these guys end up hitting Washington. You're supposed to be there next Wednesday. <laughs> Good luck to you. Let freedom roll is the slogan of the People's Convoy uh, set to depart Wednesday morning from Al Dento, California on its way to Washington, D.C. to protest federal coronavirus mandates and call for an end to President Joe Biden's emergency declaration. No, I already renewed it, so it's going to be going through March 1st, so I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Of course, I'm definitely behind this. I'm just saying you guys are going to be met with force and fire and fervor once you get there, so just, just know that just know that and there's going to be nefarious actors from the government on your tail the entire way along convoy organizers marcus summers and marine Steele spoke to breitbart news about their peaceful transcontinental movement to defend our freedom and oh at a time when our freedom is on the line and tyranny closing in but don't worry it, it is just tyranny until they get what they want and then they repeal it and then they just tell you it's about unity and we need to start healing now because we got our way freedom to choose what our country is founded on what our military has fought for and died for and bled for sacrificed everything and we'll be doing that again shortly because they're fanning the flames for more war but more on that and think the second video of the day that makes sense uh we stand up Oh, we must stand up. This is our duty. Our duty. I feel this is also a way for myself personally that I can fight for my country and its people, said Marcus Summers. The Blue Collar Boys have historically always been the first to jump in and defend our freedom, Steele, who is a paralegal, mother, wife, and has no previous experience with truckers, explained, unlike, you know, the organizers of the Canadian version of the Freedom Convoy. They were actually just truckers who were like, oh, we should probably do something. And it's like, do you guys want to drive to Ottawa? Mm, sounds fun. That's not throwing shade at any of them. I just find it a little bit more grassroots and organic than just, I don't know, some uh, law school dropouts. Nothing against them either, but, you know, hey, come on. Whatever war it's been throughout history, there's always the blue-collar boys that are the first in. Why are you repeating yourself? That's weird. Uh, they sacrifice the most. Uh, they're the first 
first to sign up and they're doing it again. I mean, here we are in 2022 with our freedoms on the line and tyranny closing in. And one more time, it's the blue collar boys. Again, we know what you mean, okay? Because you're totally out of touch on things, but whatever, but whatever. The last 23 months of the COOF pandemic have been a rough road for all Americans to travel spiritually, emotionally, physically, and not least financially, a Saturday press release reads. Now, with the advent of maxine, or vaccine and workable therapeutic agents, and, you know, just some people nudging saying, what about natural, you know, the recovery gimmick? How about that? Why, why don't we recognize that? Mm. I mean, there's a lot of people that have gotten the vax and they're on board as far as losing our freedoms to choose whether they want to get the vaccination. Our freedoms are being stripped away from us. Yep, exactly. No, um, it doesn't matter if you've got the juice or not. It's totally your choice. But having the government force it upon you, that's the fucking problem. So before the media gets us twisted, because I'm sure they're just ignoring it even happening. God, there's a, there's a conflict across halfway the world. There's borders that are at stake here that we need to defend. Whatever. So what's Biden doing on this one? Well, the administration and uh, Pelosi, that's good. Drunkenly stumbling towards her fucking monitor. What are those truckers doing? Closely monitoring trucker convoys heading to Washington. Biden administration and one of the top Democrats in uh, Congress are monitoring the trucker convoys that plan to converge in Washington, D.C. as soon as February 23rd. They're rolling out today, um, but we'll see who gets where, I guess. The administration, including the Department of Homeland Security, because they need to be looking at them domestic terrorists, they've already laid the groundwork for this, has been monitoring this closely. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki told reporters at the White House on Tuesday the administration has been working with federal, state, and local partners to continuously assess the threats or the threat environment and keep our communities safe with efforts including enhanced intelligence sharing and critical incident response plan for the U U.S. Capitol. Oh my God, there's going to be another insurrection in the Capitol. And if you are actually worried about the safety of the citizens in Washington, uh, you might start uh, wanting to police the streets a little bit better take a look at violent crime in the in the u.s capitol if you just want a proof of that uh, regional security assessment and the simulation experiment that developed data-driven recommendations to bolster regional security so at least one convoy is planning to disrupt uh, traffic in the capital region starting wednesday while one uh, oh one of the largest ones that is slated to take off the same day from california is set to arrive in the region on march 5th we already know what they're going to be met with forces from the pentagon like i said this shit ain't going to be fucking a taken off very far mention it at the end of yesterday's video okay it's not going to be allowed to set up because it's going to be met with force there's already the tracks in place to just okay cool you guys are here great now get the fuck out I'm not trying to discourage anybody. I'm just saying this is what you're going to be facing. Pentagon approves deployment of National Guard troops for D.C. trucker convoy protests because it'll immediately be illegal for reasons because uh, suspected domestic terrorists. Uh, we found one in the midst. Ergo, uh, the entire the entire protest has now been made illegal and everybody get the fuck out. Get the fuck out before you get ushered out with different ammunition rounds and we got alec baldwin at the front of this so you better know what the fuck is coming hundreds of national guards troops have been deployed to washington dc to help deal with the trucker convoy protests that are set to start this week officials have said the department of defense uh said that defense secretary lloyd austin approved the deployments of the guards which have been requested by the dc metro police and the u.s capitol police cool the people who live work and visit the district are part of our community a lot of bureaucrats and their safety is our first mission priority. Major General Sherry L. McCandless, or Candless, whatever. D.C. National Guard Commanding General, always a woman, said in a statement to the outlets, our MPD and USCP partners are too busy dealing with other types of CP uh, for our help in ensuring people can demonstrate peacefully and safely and we are ready to assist. Sure you are. Assist, plant, uh, rig, I don't know, whatever the fuck you guys do. The approval will enable around 400 D.C. National Guard members to provide support at, at designated traffic posts provide command and control and cover sustainable requirements guards deployed to the area will not be armed and will not help with law enforcement or carry out domestic surveillance activities no aircrafts have been approved for use 
Oh, but don't worry. At the moment that uh, some 10,000, tr- I've seen reports that like 50,000 trucks are supposed to be rolling in. The moment that it starts to look like, um, yeah, that comes to fruition. Oh, all of a sudden it's going to, the talk's going to escalate and there's going to be certain incidences that just magically pop up. Mark my words, this isn't going to end well, guys. But I guess we'll have our eyes peeled on this one and hopefully we'll be able to provide an update with what happens with this uh revocation of the emergencies act to see what kind of uh, shit falls out of this because it's good to see but again i'm holding these motherfuckers accountable because you still pulled the trigger on this one but with that said thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been down consuelo i want you to follow your gut and get after it take everyone